Assalamu salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, I hope you are fine. Grade 9, Unit 4. Lesson 4, Students Book, page 37. Alpinar. Let's play a game. Open your envelope and see what's inside it. Open now. See. Define the word consist. Consist. To be made of or formed from something. The weather is hot and humid all year with heavy rain. Describe the weather in one word. Monsonal. Now, mime the word appeal. Think and give a word in the same meaning of appeal. Let's see now. Guess good. Attract. Attract means appeal. Now, let's go to our students' book, page 37. Grammar. Let's watch a video to learn about the present continuous to talk about future arrangements. What are you doing on Saturday, Rob? I'm working all day on Saturday. What are you doing on Sunday? I'm not working on Sunday. I don't have any plans. We're going to the cinema. Do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Let's start and know how we use present continuous for future arrangements. First, the formation. The formation is with the pronoun I, we add am plus verb. I in G. With the pronouns he, she, it, plus is, plus verb I in G. With the pronouns they, we, you, plus are, plus verb I in G. For example, what are you doing tomorrow evening? What are you doing tomorrow evening? I'm playing volleyball tomorrow evening, but Tom isn't playing with us. Another example. 
What is he doing tomorrow morning? What is he doing tomorrow morning? In this question, we are talking about a future plan. So, we should use the present continuous for the future arrangements. He is flying to Canada, but I am not going with him. Notice here, my dear students, he is flying. Verb plus ing. These are arrangements in the future. Another example with the plural pronouns. What are they doing next week? What are they doing next week? They are going to the cinema next week and their parents are going with them too. This action is going to happen next week. So we used the present continuous for future arrangements. Check your understanding. In this exercise, we are going to check our understanding. Correct the verbs between brackets. Number one, Ibrahim, I leave to Turkey after work today. The verb leave. This is a future plan. So we should use the present continuous for the future plan or arrangements. Think of the answer. What is the right verb here in this sentence? Let's see now. Ibrahim, I am leaving to Turkey after work today. Yes, that's right. Here we put the action in the verb present continuous to talk about a future arrangements. Number two, Olivia. My family arrive early in the morning. My family arrive. The verb here between brackets is arrive. My family arrive early in the morning. Can you use the verb in the present continuous? Yes, take your time. Think and try to write the correct answer. That's right, Olivia. My family is arriving early in the morning. My family is arriving early in the morning. Now number three, Henry, we not prepare our suitcases tomorrow. We not prepare our suitcases tomorrow. Think of the correct answer. Yes, let's see the answer. Henry, we are not preparing our suitcases tomorrow. Here, the sentence in the negative shape, we are not preparing our suitcases tomorrow. Number four, Samira, I go to the airport to pick up my cousins tomorrow. I go to the airport to pick up my cousins tomorrow. Here, the verb we want to correct is go. The subject or the pronouns is I. So, what is the correct shape of the sentence? Yes, Samira, I am going to the airport to pick my cousins tomorrow. That's good. 
Thank you. Let's have more exercises. Correct the verbs between brackets. I want to go to Mecca next Monday. Muhammad go to Mecca next Monday. Now correct the verb go. Notice that this sentence talking about a future plan or arrangements that planned in the future. Okay, Muhammad is going to Mecca next Monday. This is the right answer. I plan to visit the French countryside tomorrow. I plan to visit the French countryside tomorrow. She visit the French countryside tomorrow. This quotation is a future plan. So we should use the verb in the present continuous with the future plan. Let's see the answer now. Yes. She is visiting the French countryside tomorrow. She is visiting the French countryside tomorrow. Now, my dear students, another example. We travel to Turkey next month. Look here for the arrangement. We arrange to travel to Turkey. Here is an arrangement. So we should use the present continuous for future plans and arrangements. Now correct the verb travel. We travel to Turkey next month. Look at the verb. Okay. Now you can say the answer. Yes, good. We are traveling to Turkey next month. We use the R plus verb plus ING for the future arrangements and plans. He relax on the beach this weekend. He relax on the beach this weekend. My plan is to relax on the beach this weekend. Look at the future plan and correct the verb relax. Take your time, think, try to say the correct answer. Now let's see the correct answer. He is relaxing on the beach this weekend. Okay, that's right. Sarah Thaw apart next Friday. Sarah Thaw apart next Friday. Look at the future arrangement. I am going to invite my friends on Friday. Now, look at the sentence again and correct the verb. Sarah Thaw apart next Friday. Okay, that's good. Sarah is throwing a party next Friday. Thank you. Look at the sentence and correct the verb. I study medicine in Germany this year. I study medicine in Germany this year. The future plan is I decided to study medicine in Germany this year. I decided to study medicine in Germany this year. Now correct the verb study.
Let's see the answer. Ali is studying medicine in Germany this year. Ali is studying medicine in Germany this year. Here we finished our lesson today. Thank you, my dear students, and I hope you to have a good time.